Hi friends, uh, in my earlier discussion about incremental data load, uh, I used uh, store procedure transformation to get the maximum IR date and uh, filter out in each iteration. So in the first iteration, it will get the full data load and the subsequent iteration, it will check uh, the session variable uh, with the set max variable what we set it. Uh, so basically it will get the uh, input from the stored procedure but uh, one of the subscriber was looking so without a stored procedure transformation how to achieve the same thing can you give an idea so that is the purpose of this uh, discussion today so if you see this is my earlier video you can go and refer it uh, 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 you can see the stored procedure transformation how it was used now we are going to skip that stored procedure transformation and define a mapping variable in our mapping implementation and subsequently in the source qualifier side we are going to define a query instead of calling the single object when when i say sing, uh, define a query so that time we are going to put a filter condition with a var var class that predicate okay so um, uh, and uh, the initially uh, the max ir date initial value will be one on 1980 so that time since uh, the who the hiring people uh, data is there in the emp table uh, is uh, 1980 mm, if you see here for example if i run the query for quick uh, understanding see here uh, the first date start from 17 december 1980 so 1 on 1900 it will be greater than so obviously the 14 records will be picked in the first go all 14 records and this is the maximum date you can see so in the first uh, uh, iteration uh, 1 on 1980 i will pull all the record in the next iteration when you try to run the same thing this 23 may 1987 uh, 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 will be set into uh, the uh, the uh, this set max variable help to set uh, the the variable mapping variable information to higher date thus it will try to filter uh, correspondingly so if there is any records new records greater than 23 may 1987 it will pull the records otherwise what will happen it will result to zero records so thus we will achieve the incremental da data load so we will try with a different iteration uh, we will see how it works okay let's get back to the implementation how to define it in the informatical level okay so now i'm going to create a mapping now okay uh, create a mapping and here source okay in a source uh, okay maybe okay just a second we'll give some We'll give some meaningful name here. Mp. Okay, increment load. Okay, I'm going to save this. Okay, now the source is going to be emp table here. Uh, but uh, now, as I told, uh, let us define as a query source type. Okay, and that will help us to filter the condition. Okay, let's copy this query as is. Oh, sorry. And define it in this one okay okay one we can validate the query is fine okay the query is valid but and the next important thing is we have to define a valid uh, uh, sorry we have to define a mapping variable okay so in mapping variable in out parameters is nothing but the mapping variable definition section so what we can do is we can create a max ir date as the column and data type mention as date time because it's a date time field and here define initial values to 1980 and just all the thing as is aggregation type should be max that's it so now let's come back to the different query section here you can put a var condition higher date greater than dollar dollar max higher date and try to validate again the max higher date uh, condition the query is valid now so now the next thing is we need to define expression transformation so okay so in this expression transformation it's going to pull all the records as is but the additional thing and important thing what we are going to define is we are going to set a variable field here okay v underscore max underscore higher date uh, and the data type we need to decide as date time 
here once we define it and now we need to call the uh, built-in function and under the built-in function go to all the way to special section and under the special section you will find a set max variable here two things you if you notice it here uh, you can uh, you will see variable and the expression okay expression is nothing but the field it comes from the source side uh, we are going to make use of it uh, so the variable when you talked about uh, the variable is what we defined it okay so uh, it is comes under the parameter side so in out uh, parameters is nothing but the variable so we just select it and uh, okay you can remove the dollar dollar okay here then the expression as i told go to the field section and select the field what we are going to make use of it as the filtration criteria higher date okay sounds good so this is fine so we are good and next immediate thing is select the target what the target we are going to pump the data so now here we know already single object and select the target okay and the target we here what we have is t underscore emp plus also define now let's try to run it and see how it goes in the first iteration it should pull as i told 1 on 1980 greater than it should pull all the records all 14 records it should pull and load it into the target level okay so let's do the same thing now go back to the jobs here and you should see 14 records have been successfully loaded okay let's wait for it to complete so the 14 records have been loaded so now see we will see in the target okay 14 records have been loaded now let's go and see what is the task i have been done see once it is loaded from 1 on 1900 initial value now it's set to maximum date you see that so as i told before the maximum date 23 may 1987 that has been set to the session variable now now let's try to rerun it uh, so we don't have any new records now this time so let's try to rerun it and see what is the outcome of the same thing okay so oh, let's go back and rerun it and see the job so since it is it does not meet the uh, uh, criteria so there is no new records so you, you, you are seeing zero records as loaded so see if you go back and see the session see still uh, the maximum error date remains same so because there is no new records or uh, in picture okay so now let us try to introduce one new record okay so i'm going to insert a new record with a source side source side okay i'm going to commit it now if you see I run the query again and see now the maximum date become 17 june because what the session variable holds as we saw may 23 1987 it should change to after the current run it should change to june 17 2005 okay because that is one new employee came in picture okay let's try to run the session and understand better okay i'm going to run the session now okay uh, the job is in running state we'll see so the records have been successfully loaded now you can see from the source it is uh, filtered one record and it's been target uh, loaded on record now you can see june 17 2005 successfully loaded so this is it friends uh, without using store transformation uh, store procedure transformation how to load it in simple way the incremental data okay thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel